Hello and welcome to Mary Live. This is Dr. Mark Marivalli. My friends in Jesus and Mary, I want to direct you to two very important statements uh, that our Holy Father, Pope Francis, has made in the last week. I'm talking about dated statements, December 8th, 2022, and December 12th, 2022, which I think really shows us that his mind is on the mother. And I want to start with this December 8th uh, Angelus address that he gives where he prefaces, and I'm not going to go through the whole, uh, either one of these in, in their entirety, but just for context, uh, he's talking about uh, the struggle between good and evil, between beauty and sin. And he says, and I quote, But today, faced with all this, we have good news. Mary, the only human being in history without sin, is with us in the battle. She is our sister and, above all, our mother. And we who struggle to choose good can entrust ourselves to her. By entrusting ourselves, consecrating ourselves to Mary, we say to her, Take me by the hand, mother. Guide me. With you, I will have more strength in the battle against evil. With you, I will rediscover my original beauty. Let us entrust ourselves to Mary today, let us entrust ourselves to Mary every day, repeating to her, Mary, I entrust my life to you. I entrust my family, my work. I entrust my heart and my struggles. I consecrate myself to you. May Mary Immaculate help us to safeguard our beauty from evil. Now, my friends, this is the Vicar of Christ saying, consecrate, and he uses the word consecrate twice, consecrate and entrust yourselves to Mary Today and every day. Why? Because it's a time of particular struggle and a time of uh, projected evil. Uh, again, very strong. It's also, I think, worthy of comment that, as is the tradition that the Pope on December 8th goes to the Spanish steps before the great pillar of the Immaculata, of the Mary Immaculate, and, and typically does an address of, of, of a prayer, uh, at the uh, at the foot of that great pillar, the Holy Father wept. He had to stop his presentation for at least 30 seconds, and he wept as he was talking to Our Lady in his prayer about Ukraine. And once again, I think this manifests the tenderness of heart of our Holy Father to Our Lady, and that more and more, more and more, he is seeing the mother as the remedy. And I want to go to this uh, December 12th address. Um, this is his homily on December 12th of 2022. Uh, the, the Vatican English official translation has not yet come out. So bear with me as I'm going to translate the Italian for you. And I do this because the press has augmented uh, certain words and I just want to make sure uh, we're talking about accuracy here. Once again, the Holy Father is talking about, you know, the time of difficulty in 1531 when Our Lady of Guadalupe came uh, to the Aztec people, but how this is also a time of difficulty. Um, you'll say, uh, E quest'anno celebriamo Guadalupe in un momento difficile per l'umanità. Um, in this year, we celebrate Guadalupe at a difficult moment for humanity. E un periodo Amaro, it's a bitter time. Pieno de fragore de guerra, full of the rumblings of war. De crescente injustice, carestie, povertà, sofferenza. Uh, with increasing injustice, absence of charity, poverty, suffering. Cefami, uh, there's hunger. And here's perhaps the line that has, or certainly it's the line that got the attention of the press. E se bene questo or orizzonte appaia cupo e sconcertante, and, and although this horizon appears bleak and disconcerting, con presage de ancor più grande distruzione e desolazione, uh, with omens of even greater destruction and uh, desolation. Uh, and then he goes on to say, even so, 
the divine uh, descent of Jesus through the Virgin Mother uh, is appropriate for this time. Uh, he'll also then uh, direct us to, you know, go to Our Lady Guadalupe um, because sono tua madre, uh, ci dice, uh, I am your mother, she says. La madre dell'amore per il quale si vive. Uh, the mother of love for all who live. So, again, uh, these words, uh, again, and, and various, even tabloids have taken these words uh, and, and, and headlined, uh, highlighted them. Um, but this, this reference of the Holy Father of talking about, you know, the challenging times, you know, although this horizon appears bleak and disconcerting with omens of even greater destruction and desolation. And that, that's a very sobering message from the Holy Father on the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. I believe, my friends, that, and I've, I've mentioned this before, uh, quite frankly, many times, but the Fifth Marian Dogma, the solemn proclamation of Our Lady as the spiritual mother of all people, uh, of all who live, as the Holy Father says, will come, it's going to come one way or another, uh, but it's going to come either out of grace that we see and we honor her as we should uh, because she deserves it, or out of tragedy uh, because things get more and more hopeless and more and more uh, discouraging and, as the Pope says, more destruction and more desolation. I bring this up because I believe that the Holy Father's heart is moving more and more to understanding that Our Lady is the only remedy. And it's a very bold act as the Vicar of Christ to speak about omens, you know, uh, indications of even greater destruction and desolation than we have at the present time. All this, my friends, I, I bring to you because I ask you, please, Please pray for our Holy Father and the Fifth Marian Dogma. Please pray for the Holy Father's heart. Please don't do a human evaluation saying, oh, you know, this Holy Father, <clears throat> well, yeah, he's okay, but he's, he's not the type to proclaim a dogma or he said some kind of questionable things about it in the past. The past is the past. At this moment, the Holy Father's crying at statues of Our Lady because he, he so is experiencing the sufferings of people worldwide. And he's, and he's so... Uh, understanding of the fact that the Lady is the remedy. Our Lady is the answer. The mother of all peoples, once proclaimed, can and only can, and we, we get this from Fatima and Akita, where she says, you know, I alone am able to help you from the calamities that approach. Well, they're coming, and they're on the cusp. They're on, as the Pope says, uh, the near horizon. So, please continue to pray for the Fifth Marine Dogma. Uh, this prayer of the Lady of All Nations, uh, this prayer is a powerful prayer before the throne of God. Please pray it every day. It takes 30 seconds. You know, analogously, it's like the words of consecration, right? I'm saying analogously because obviously there's an essential difference here. But the, the, the priest at Mass only has to say the words that Jesus gives him to say to perform the daily miracle, transubstantiation, that really bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. That's absolutely supernatural. It's a miracle each time it happens. Analogously, when we pray a prayer given by God through Our Lady uh, that brings uh, such a powerful mode of intercession, asking for a new Pentecost through Our Lady as Advocate, we just want to do it. We, we want to pray the prayer. Sometimes psychologically we say, well, if it's so short, there must be not much value to it. No, it's a supernatural thing. And in this case, we need a supernatural remedy. So please pray the prayer uh, for the Fifth Marian Dogma. And, you know, I, I just want to say this in closing, too. Regarding, um, let's just say, certain rumblings or certain blogs regarding the Holy Father and, and you know, uh, I don't think he's really the Pope and uh, other such things. I just want to read to you uh, the final words of Sister Lucia. This is a March 3rd, 1998 interview that Sister Lucia gave with two cardinals, Cardinal Anthony Padayara from India and Cardinal uh, Ricardo uh, Vidal from the Philippines, who was a dear personal friend, an extremely Marian cardinal. And after their audience with Sister Lucia, they asked her, uh, 
do you want to say anything? I'll read it from the, the, the text. Um, final message, the Cardinals asked Sister Lucia, do you want to say anything to conclude in particular a message for the world today? Her response, quote, he, who's, he who is not with the Pope is not with God. And he who wants to be with God has to be with the Pope. Be careful of conversations that undermine the authentic role of the Vicar of Christ in faith and morals. Don't get distracted with, with COVID comments or, or vaccine opinions. We're talking about the Vicar of Christ in faith and morals. And right now, the Vicar of Christ is speaking to us very powerfully, importantly, pointing us to Our Lady as the remedy. Listen to him. Pray for him. Pray the precious blood of Jesus cover him and protect him uh, amidst the attacks and the temptations. And obviously, the adversary is going to be, uh, you know, uh, going after the Holy Father with. Of course, he's a human being. But pray that he continue along the path of understanding that Our Lady is the remedy. And that the proclamation of the dogma of Mary as the spiritual mother of all peoples, inclusive of her role as co-redemptrix pediatrics of an advocate, is what allows her to fully intercede for our troubled world. And according to the Vicar of Christ, which has omens of even greater destruction and desolation. So let's do our part. Let's pray for the Holy Father. Let's avoid uh, discussions uh, denying uh, that he is in fact the Vicar of Christ. And let's go to him. Let's go to him and pray to him, excuse me, pray for him, that he will do what he's called to do in solemnly proclaiming Our Lady as the spiritual mother of all peoples. In his words, the mother of love over all the living. And let's pray the prayer of the Lady of all nations. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disasters, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you need the prayer, contact us at mary at motherofallpeoples.com. Leave your name and address. We'll send it out to you. You get it within the week. Be apostles of the prayer. Pass it around. Some people are putting it in their Christmas cards. I think that's glorious. Uh, you still have time to do that. Um, and <clears throat> be an apostle to those who you know understand the signs of the time and can join us in praying for our Holy Father and for the Fifth Marian Dogma. It's Dr. Mark Mivali saying thank you and God bless you all.